Hello again everyone, Edwin Laird back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about having a Sagittarius Sun and Gemini Moon in a natal chart. Now I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. What I'm talking about is uh, having that Sun Moon combination in the natal chart. Having a Sagittarius Sun and Gemini Moon in your natal chart. Now, First off, the basic character, which is the sun, and in this case, the sun being in Sagittarius, uh, can be very expansive, optimistic, exuberant, jovial, blunt, uh, self-righteous. And um, on the unconscious side, which is the moon, the moon uh, represents the unconscious side of the person in astrology, and the sun, the conscious side. Now, on an unconscious level, with the moon in Gemini, um, a person can be loquacious, versatile, contradictory, uh, verbose, restless, and uh, mobile. Now, as in um, many um, sun-moon combinations, you know, you're going to have it's a strong disparity of energy. In this one, you know, you have you know the sun and moon in opposite signs, so there's a very big difference. I mean, they're both mutable signs. You know, it's definitely I mean an adaptable you know, combination. But, you know, the Sagittarius Sun, you know, as far as the basic fundamental character goes, can be, you know, really speak the veritable truth, be very you know, voracious and you know, even tactless at times and very blunt. Now, the Gemini Moon may often just, you know, feel like, you know, saying what the person may want to hear as opposed to actually speaking with veracity. So you do have a very, you know, big difference in disparity with this energy. You know, um, thing, and you know, another thing when you talk about, you know, the differences with Sagittarius, you know, and you know, Gemini, you know, Sagittarius, you know, is more, you know, about you know, the higher education, and Gemini is more, you know, about street, you know, sense and being shrewd, cunning, and so you have, you know, again, a very strong, you know, difference, um, you know, in this um, energy. And the thing about, you know, this as well, I mean, when you look at this, um, the person may bring, you know, that Sagittarius optimism, you know, into something, you know, Gemini related, which can include you know, working as a driver, doing something with the news, communication, uh, manual dexterity, uh, working as a mail carrier, as some examples. Um, the sun in astrology reflects our basic wants. And the Sagittarius Sun, you know, wants to explore, expand horizons, you know, be that perpetual learner. And Gemini Moon, you know, needs, uh, Moon is about our emotional needs. And Gemini Moon needs to communicate, assimilate information, you know, express, you know, cleverness. They may enjoy uh, games of uh, mental agility. And the Sun in astrology is connected with the true self. And in this case, with the true self being the uh, Sun and Sagittarius, you know, um, person can be enthusiastic, you know, jocular, philosophical, jovial, upbeat, as some examples. Now you have the inner self, you know, which is the Moon, and in this case, the Moon being in Gemini, um, can be you know, vivacious, mercurial, superficial, lively, and talkative. And you have. Um, you know, the um, sun is about our driving motivation, and with the sun in Sagittarius, this person may be driven and motivated, which is the sun, to expand horizons, which is Sagittarius. And the person, you know, may do so, you know, with the moon in Gemini, you know, being uh, more vivaciously spirited manner. And now, if this is, uh, this could be more adverse. If this is in an opposition aspect uh, with each other, you know, opposition in astrology, opposition aspect in astrology is 180 degrees. I use a 10 degree orb if at least one personal planet is involved. And in this instance, of course, you have two personal planets involved, the sun and the moon. And uh, the thing is, you, know, you have, um, as an example, you know, if the Sagittarius Sun is at 14 degrees and the Gemini Moon is at 9 degrees, that would form an opposition um, aspect. And, you know, and it, it may bring out, 
you know, the negative, you know, qualities, you know, of these signs and, you know, you could have a lot of, you know, you know, Sagittarius sun, bluntness, tactlessness, and it could be flavored with that Gemini moon, you know, harsh witticisms as um, some examples. And, um, you know, and both, both these signs are not exactly notorious for being consistent. You know, Sagittarius sun, you know, the basic fundamental character can be flighty, and then the Gemini moon, you know, can vacillate, and, you know, they're not really, you know, known for persistence. And, the um and it could bring out you know, you know emphasize that energy more if you have this in an opposition aspect uh with each other now the thing too is the sun in astrology uh represents the biological father so with the sagittarius sun you know, the biological father may actually be a sagittarius sun moon or ascendant or embody those characteristics and the moon represents the mother in astrology. So with the Gemini moon, the person's mother may actually be a Gemini, sun, moon, or ascendant, or embody those traits. And it's also about the perception you know, of these people. I mean, if you with the Sagittarius sun, the person may perceive you know, the biological father as somebody that's very uh, jovial, exuberant, enthusiastic, optimistic, expansive, but at the same time may perceive the biological father as somebody that might be overly reckless, self-righteous, flighty, um, a person that could be blunt and tactless as some examples. And the person may, um, with the Gemini moon, the person may perceive the mother as someone that's very you know, spirited, you know, versatile, loquacious, um, you know, very uh, amiable, uh, clever, but at the same time may perceive the mother as someone that might be overly mercurial, you know, contradictory, um, restless, um, person that might be overly, um, I don't know, say verbose maybe, and you know, someone in superficial as some examples. Now, the thing too is, um, you know, when you look at this, you know, sun moon combination, it's obviously, you know, very could be a changeable combination because you have a mutable sign for the sun and the moon. But a lot of this, you know, can be modified, you know, with modifying influences in the chart, contra indicators. You know, somebody's got, like, say, you know, more, you know, steady and more fixed ascendant. Let's say if somebody has. You know the Sagittarius Sun and Gemini Moon combination in their natal chart, but they have a Taurus ascendant. Well, this could um, strongly modify this energy because outwardly you know, the person you know project you know a lot of you know stable qualities. You know, stable you know person you know outwardly will project you know, um, you know more you know, being more stable. Um, you know, character, I'm sorry, characteristics that would be outwardly projected more would include being you know, stable, loyal, steadfast, um, consistent, um, persistent, and persevering. So this person would, with the Taurus Ascendant, you know, may be a lot more you know, persistent and steady and stable in, in contrast to the typical person with the Sagittarius Sun and Gemini Moon. Now, the sun in astrology represents our actions. So with the Sagittarius sun, you know, the actions you know, may be done with a lot of exuberance and enthusiasm and, and to expand horizons. And it could be, you know, to motivate and encourage others. But when you, and, and with the Gemini moon, you know, the reactions can be very, you know, high strung, excitable, you know, but, but they can be very spirited and, um, and it might also be, you know, very quick and rapid, you know, on an emotional level. You know, the moon is our emotional side, and, you know, the Gemini moon, you know, the person may not have, you know, overly sustained um, emotions. They may have manifold expressions uh, of how they feel. So, anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Learner saying, stay well.